Okay, so for now, we will discuss the total hydrostatic force and of course, solve sample problems. Okay, so let's derive muna yung principle dito. Okay, let's start here. So we have this um, water surface or free surface natin. And imagine if we have this a body in that surface, a plain body. Okay, and if we are to look at this view. Okay, pinatagili lang natin. And again, i-project ko yung area. Yan yun. Okay, so um, assuming that this body is inclined and at angle theta with the horizontal. Okay? Okay, and we are to analyze a differential strip dito. Ito yung derivation ng for formula na yan. Okay? That one. Okay, and let's assume that the vertical projection of that point or that differential strip is at a distance h from the vertical. And let's call this y. Okay, and of course, this um, um, line is inclined at angle theta with the horizontal. Okay, that one. And ito yung differential force na i-analyze natin. Actually, may video na ako dito but for the for, for the purpose of teaching or the sa ating review, si review ibabalik ko to dito. Okay, so fast forward lang tayo. That DF and that DF, as you can remember, the general principle of a force that is just pressure times area. Okay, that is P times A. Now, take note that in this liquid, uh, the pressure at this point at any direction is just equals to gamma height. Okay, Th that is just the pressure at this point. That is gamma H times area. Okay, now since we are considering a differential force or napakaliit na force dyan at every single element strip dito, so we will call this DF is equals to gamma H and of course, yung area natin is the differential area. Then, we will integrate this both sides here, okay, to calculate the total force dito. Or, kumbaga, nag-sum up forces lang tayo dito lahat. Okay, we just summed up. Okay, so, integrating that. And, I factored out this gamma over sine of theta since that is constant. Ang magbabari lang dito is yung y times dA. Okay, now, take note from the Varignon theorem or from the integral calculus, that the area times bar y is just equals to integral of y dA. Okay? Take note of that. So, we can just simply substitute area bar y to this y dA. Okay? So, if, if I will substitute that, it will become like this area bar y. Now, this will give us this formula. The hydrostatic force or the total hydrostatic force is equals to gamma bar h area. Okay, yung bar H natin dito is that is the bar Y over the sine of theta. Okay, and take note that this bar Y is located from the pre-surface to the centroid of this body. Okay, that means that the vertical H natin dito should be from the uh, centroid of this body to the water surface, the vertical distance. Yan yung y, bar Y over sine of theta that will become bar H. Okay, that is the formula of the simple hydrostatic force. But I want you to just um, understand this. That is just the pressure of the areas. If we, um, if we know or if we can directly locate the center of the gravity of that area, then we can just simply use this formula instead of, the, instead of this. Okay, pressure at the center of the gravity times area. Now, as you can see, this PCG or the pressure at the center of the gravity is just the gamma height lang dito up to the center of the gravity. Ito talaga yung mas general na gamitin natin. Okay? That one. Now, ito yung mangyayari. Because we are here in the liquid, if this is the center of the gravity, um, the total force or the total resultant force because of the pressure acting at this uh, body will will be having an offset e eccentricity it will not be directly acting to the center of the gravity my offset yan okay and we can calculate or we can derive this formula of e dito okay again ito yung bar y natin ito yung bar h that is from the free surface up to the center of the gravity okay claro so how can we derive this formula okay that is just by equating the this force 
times this total distance about this point okay dito tayo mag moment equating to the um, differential force times this distance the same kumaga equivalent uh, moment and actually this is just the Varignon's theorem dito tayo mag act okay by Varignon's theorem that is force times y uh, bar y plus e is just equals to the differential force times y that one of course that should be integral since naka differential yet okay now take note that our f here is gamma bar h area which we derived um kanina okay so um, we can substitute and as you can see this differential force is ito that one that is gamma bar uh, gamma integral of y over sine of theta and since may multiply tayo na y dito magiging y squared dA and finactor out natin yung gamma over sine of theta since that is a constant okay now remember again this moment of inertia integral of y squared dA is the moment of inertia i okay so we can substitute that one and take note okay so we can cancel out yung um, y natin, uh, gamma natin dito at, at sa kabila. And again, take, take note that uh, bar h is equals to y over sine of theta. I mean, bar y over sine of theta. That why, that's why na cancel yung theta dito. Ang, natir, ang natitira dito is yung inertia and yung h, of course, dyan will be replaced by bar y. Okay? Now, remember this formula. Okay, take note that this moment of inertia is just the moment about this axis dito. Okay, in order that to be more simplified, okay, we will express this inertia to the inertia of this body. Ito naman talaga yung ginagawa natin dito. Okay, we will just transfer that uh, dyan. Okay, from the parallel axis theorem, okay, from statics, it is discussed in that um, subject. The inertia or the transferred inertia is just Ig plus a d squared so our ig here is the corresponds to the moment of inertia at this axis of the body okay axis of rotation plus a d squared and yung a d squared natin dito uh, corresponds area barred y squared okay so ganito yan okay so i just sub, uh, distribute this no dito then yung i i natin will corresponds to ig the moment of inertia of this object plus a bar y squared and rearranging this we can calculate or we can derive this formula area bar y okay so in solving problems di nyo na kailang i-derive pa to okay pinakita ko lang para hindi kayo malito or hindi kayo ma-confuse on how to use these formulas okay at its eccentricity okay let's try an example a vertical triangular gate, 0.9 meters high, have its 2 meter base flushed with the water surface. Okay, so determine the total force acting on one side of the gate. Determine the location of the center pressure from the top. Determine the eccentricity. Okay, so this is a CE board problem. Ito yung mga kadalasang lumalabas sa board exam natin. Okay, so ito yon. Sinabi niya, we have the vertical gate. A 0.9 meters high and 2 meters base is flush with the water surface. Okay, ito yung side view natin and yung projected area is ganyan. Okay, sinabi dito that the 2 meter base is flush with the water surface at that point. Okay, so that is 0.9 meters high and 2 meters base. Okay, ito yung naka-flush meaning naka-level naka lang sa water surface natin. Okay, so... For part 1, calculate or determine the total force acting on one side of the gate. Okay, so from the formula we derived, gamma bar h area. And take note, mas maiging gamitin na lang natin to if single liquid lang yung nandito. If multiple, multiple liquid yung naka-act dyan, uh, mas maiging gamitin natin yung pressure diagram or yung um, sen pressure at the center of the gravity. Yun yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So in this case, uh, most common problem naman sa board exam, ito lang yung lumalabas, single liquid and water pa yan. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin. So that is just gamma. Take note that bar H is measured from the free surface up to the uh, center of the gravity, the vertical distance. So that is the um, bar H natin. Okay, that is just one-thirds of the 0.9.
take note, this is a triangle. So, substitute. Area is one half of base times height. Okay, simple area of triangle. And next, that is the answer, 2.65. Now, determine the location of the center of pressure. Okay, from the top. Okay, as you can see from the top, from the, the from the top. So how can we calculate that? Okay, so in part two we can simply calculate first the eccentricity. Okay, take note that the force or the total hydrostatic force will not be acting at the center of the gravity. My offset distance. Yan yung ina ten. So yung pinapahanap dito is the location from the top, meaning at this point up to that point. Okay, point three plus e. Okay? So Ito yun. Tawagin na lang nating HCP. Okay? Ito yung mga common notation dyan. So, calculate muna natin yung E. That is inertia over the area bar Y. Okay? Take note, we have the uh, mo, uh, common moment of inertia. Okay? That is a common polygon. That is BH cube over 36 for the triangle. Divided by 1 half of base times height times the bar Y. That is 0.3. And we have this E. Then, we will calculate HCP or the question, or I mean, tinatanong sa number 2, that one, and that is the answer. Okay, now another example. I mean, for number 3, determine the eccentricity and actually nauna natin siyang isolve that one. Okay, madali lang. Okay, let's have another example. A vertical, vertical square plate, 1.2 meters in each side, is submerged half in oil and half in water. If the top of the plate is flushed with the oil surface, what is the ratio of the force of the water to the force of the oil? Specific gravity of oil is 0.8. Okay, so how can we solve this? Imagine ito yung um, free surface and sinabi dito, it is uh, yung vertical plate natin is submerged half sa oil and half sa water. Okay, that is 0.8. And ito yung projection natin. Okay, and take note that is um, 1.2 meter square plate. So, this is 1.2. And this distance must be half ng 1.2. Okay, as, you, as it is stated nga. Then, ang pinapahanap dito is the ratio of the force of water to the force of, our, of the oil. Okay, so since dalawa yung liquid na naka-act dyan, iisa-isahin natin yan. Okay, so how can we do that? hindi na natin gagamitin yung gamma bar H area. Yeah. Again, multiple of liquids na ito. Okay, so ito yon Mas magandang gamitin yung principle. PCG times area. Okay, ito yung force ng oil. nag a dyan. Ito yung force ng water. Okay, so unahin siguro natin yung force ng oil. That is just gamma of the oil or gamma times height. So, itong PCG is gamma of the oil times height times area. Okay, SG of oil. Then, Ito yung kukunin natin for the oil, yung bar H, I mean the height of the oil. Okay, so take note that for this formula that is to the center of the gravity. Ito yung center of the gravity projected in that oil. So if we will substitute that, 0 0.8 times 9, 0.81 times 0 0.3 times the area projected on the oil, 1.2 times 0 0.6, it will give us this answer, 1.695. Okay, let's calculate naman the force in the water. Okay, the same projection. Ag and again, yung center of gravity ng water is dito. Somewhere half ng 0.6 or that is 0.3 from this interface. Okay, so let's calculate the same uh, uh, principle, PCG times area. But take note that the pressure here is dapat from the top. Okay, from this point up to that point, that is the pressure of the oil up to this point. Okay, that is ga uh, SG of the oil times gamma of the oil times 0 0.6 okay up to this point next plus gamma of water times 0.3 kumbaga yung pressure dito yung kinukuha natin pressure at the center of the gravity projected on the oil I mean projected on the water okay then I multiply natin by area claro so I will substitute this this directly times area 1.2 times 0.6 pa rin and we have this force in the water. Now, after this, we can just simply calculate the ratio of force of water over the force of the oil. And that is, ito yung answer, 3.25.
Okay? Take note, this is a CE board problem. Okay? And ilang ulit din tong lumabas na ganitong klaseng problem. Now, let's have another example. A circular gate 1.5 meters in diameter is inclined and 45 degrees where the vertical. The center of the gate is 10 meters below the water surface. Okay, ito yun. Okay, so, i-project lang natin. Okay, that is 45 degrees with the horizontal. That one. That one. Ito yung barred edge natin, yung sinasabi dyan. The center of the gate is 10 meters below the water surface. Yan yung magiging barred edge natin. And let's calculate na lang muna yung um, barred y natin. Okay, since this is 45 degrees, this is also 45 degrees with the vertical. Okay, yan yung barred y. And as we consider this triangle, we can just simply say that barred y is just 10 over cosine of 45. Okay, that is just this triangle. Huh? We consider this. That is um, um, cosine of 45 is equals to the adjacent, that one, 10 over the hypotenuse. Then, I cross multiply, we will come up to this. Okay, claro. Then, um, we need to calculate the total force acting on this gate. Okay, take note that the center of the gravity is, if this is uh, 1.5 meters in diameter, that should be 0.75 and also that one. Okay, ito yung um, hydrostatic force. Okay, and that will be an, at an eccentricity E from the centroid. Okay, so for part 1, okay, we can just directly uh, use the formula. Um, gamma barred H area or PCG times area. Okay, that one. Since we have the barred H summon. Okay, times 10 times the area of that circle. Okay, claro. And that is... 173.36 kilonewtons. Okay, for number 2, calculate the distance of the total force from the bottom of the gate. Okay, so K okay, from the bottom of the gate. Ano yung pinapahanap dito? Ito yun, that one. From this bottom up to the um, force natin, or location of the force. So, as you can see, this is just, if we will assume that this is Z, Z is just 0.75 minus E. Okay, so we need to calculate first the eccentricity. And that is just by this formula. I over area bar y. Okay, so simple um, inertia ng circle. That is pi over 64 times diameter raised to 4. Then area of that circle. Then the bar y. Okay, bar y that is 10 over cosine of 45 will give us 14.4. Okay, and the eccentricity is sobrang lit. 9.945. Okay, claro. Then, Z can be calculated by 0.75 minus that one. Okay? And it will give us this one. Okay, now for part 3, if the gate is hinged at top, find the normal force applied to the bottom required to open the gate. Okay, so, uh, let's imagine na lang pag ganito. Kung baga may structure dyan at may a circular gate dyan sa ilalim at nakahinge siya dito. Now, pinapahanap is normal force at the bottom, that one. Okay, normal meaning that is perpendicular with this gate. Okay, so how can we calculate this? Um, by simply equilibrium equation lang, summation of moment about eta, about the hinge tayo. Okay, if we take moment about hinge, okay, that one. That is just P times the diameter, 1.5, minus this force, the moment arm is E plus 0.75 or 0.75 plus this E and we calculated the P and that is the answer. Okay, 